Conte calling for it, stays with Rea. Rea deeper than the 18, it's a good cross, deep in! It's like my body took over, you know. Yeah. Sean's got incredible quality and, you know, the ball that he managed to whip in was, you know, sensational. And it was just a matter of, like, I, I caught Rama off guard and then all of a sudden my body took over, my foot's over my head and, you know, I scored a, a pretty nice goal, but, you know, all credit to, to the team's build-up on that, mm. so. And then you did a flip. A front flip for Mateo! Yeah, my mom's never too happy when I do that. She's always worried I'm going to get hurt, but, you know, it's the adrenaline going through my blood, and I was just so excited. That week where you guys beat Forge twice in a row at home, the, the belief must have been really strong at that point, right? It was incredible, honestly, to... Uh, you know, be able to do that twice in front of our fans as well and, you know, see everybody come out to support us. It was probably one of the most entertaining weekends to, to be involved in, for sure. Ballard with a chance here, following up, and it's into the back of the net. It's off the foot of Matteo Debrien. Tell me a bit more about what it was like for you last year, as you said, your first kind of full season as a professional. You sort of had to fight your way into the squad. You got kind of an opportunity and you just kind of had to, had to play well enough to stay in the squad, right? So it must have been you know, a, a huge experience for you to, to learn and develop, right? It was a journey for sure. I mean, you know, I, I knew coming into it, nothing was a given. And I'm one of those players, I don't like being given anything. I like making sure that I work for every opportunity. And so, you know, the fact that you know, I tried to prove myself every single day and then I had, you know, the players and the coaching staff and everybody who had faith in me to give me that one opportunity to start a game, it just, you know, it, it builds confidence in not only me, I believe, in everyone else. And so from that point forward, I was just very positive and, you know, honored to, to get the opportunity to go to war with those guys in the starting 11. Rea tries to navigate through a forest of defenders and what a strike! When you see guys that you, you know, were stood next to in the dressing room now doing that on, on a, an MLS stage, how kind of motivating and, and sort of inspirational is that for guys like you that you know you can get to that next level maybe it's honestly it's incredible you know especially to share the locker room with them last year and the characters that they brought were you know very very big helps to the team and just to see them succeeding right now is just you know it, it, it's an honor to say that i've shared the pitch with them especially and you know i hope they they keep growing as much as they can and they can keep you know going to the top of their game and just tell me a little bit about what the the general sort of atmosphere is around this group coming in I mean, it's almost like a new team, but we have a lot of returning players. So, you know, it's just uh, about meeting a bunch of different characters. But so far, it's been, uh, you know, a great enjoyment. Have you got a, any sort of a sense of, you know, guys starting to, to sort of fit in or a sense of what kind of players are coming in here? I mean, you know, we, we have a whole different variety of players around here. But I think, you know, through every day of training, players are showing themselves and I think, you know, once we get our first opportunity to, you know, show it in front of the fans and everything like that, I think, you know, a lot of characters will come out, so we're excited to show that.